I came to Wagner undecided, and now I'm doing my own cutting edge scientific research, hand in hand with faculty, something that most students don't get the opportunity to do, and it's just part of our curriculum. Hi, I'm Brianna Bancourt, and I'm a biology major at Wagner College. So I chose Wagner College because it provided me with the opportunity for small class sizes close to the city. I didn't want to get lost in a crowd of students and I knew that my learning style was to have a personal relationship with my professors and that is exactly what I got at Wagner. Brianna is a wonderful student and she's been working on a project that involves CRISPR and open source computational docking software to evaluate the dangers of plastics on metabolism. The CRISPR-Cas9 technique enables precise gene manipulation. We wanted to take a look at how these endocrine disruptors interact with endocrine receptors or receptors within the endocrine system. And in order to do that, we need to know exactly where they interact. And so to find out exactly where they interact, we can do a couple of different things, but the easiest thing to do was to run a simulation. Computational software allows us to study the interactions of these molecules on a molecular level that is not possible in vivo studies. So these in silico simulations allow us to um, pinpoint exactly where these molecules are interacting with the estrogen receptor. Brown's research is important for several different reasons. For one, it allows us to demonstrate that scientists can adopt these new and interesting tools to answer a question. But more importantly, we get to learn more about how these plasticizers, these phthalates, interact with our endocrine system, with our nervous system, with our digestive system. And so by seeing ways to mitigate exposure, we can hopefully improve the quality of life for others. After I graduate, I hope that other scientists can use and utilize my data in order to find solutions to uh, health effects that are caused by these endocrine disrupting chemicals.